Hi, I'm Bill Coulterman, and this lesson on pivot tables is from my Excel 2010 training course. What exactly is a pivot table? A pivot table is a tool that's used to analyze large amounts of data. You could have a worksheet with a couple hundred thousand cells filled with data, and you've got to wade through there and find that one thing or that one trend or that can be a daunting task without something like a pivot table to help you. The pivot table compresses the data into small tables that are easily managed with the use of filters. Pivot tables are very, very flexible. They're able to go ahead and do a lot of things with that data. So why do we use pivot tables? We use them to organize our data, to summarize our data, so that we can analyze our data. All right, enough of this theory. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at a pivot table. Well, there it is. There's our pivot table. And you're saying, huh, what? <laughs> it doesn't look like much, Bill. Let me scroll down here and show you it's 45. Well, actually not 45 rows. We're in the row 45, but we're not using this one or this one. So I guess technically that makes it 43 rows of data. And you're saying, okay, there's some filtering going on up here. What exactly is happening? Before we get to that, let me go ahead and go to the data sheet here and show you the original data that we've created this pivot table from. Now, this worksheet has, and I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the end, 937 rows of data by five columns. Now that's a lot of data. That is 4,680 uh, cells worth of data. And we, through the pivot table, were able to compress that down, summarize that into a much smaller table here with only like I said, 45 rows. And you can imagine that if you have that worksheet with maybe 400, 500,000 cells worth of data, compressing it down by any measure will go ahead and probably uh, help you a great deal. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what's going on. Our data sheet has the product codes for the products that we sell, the stores that sell them, Summary of how many have been sold by quarter, by store, and the cost of each of these items, the sale cost of each of these items. So, the pivot table has gone ahead and allowed me to summarize all of that data so I can find what I want more easily. We have up here what we call a report filter. And... In there, we've decided that we wanted to filter the data by quarter. So let's say I just simply want to look at the data for the fourth quarter. I'll go here, click on the fourth quarter, and you may have noticed these numbers changed. It now went ahead and filtered out everything except these numbers of sold, items sold by store for the fourth quarter. Let's go ahead and let's narrow down our stores. That's our column labels here. You'll notice that these are just standard filters. Now, I'm going to deselect these and choose all of my stores in Chicago, 606 area code. And when I select OK, see that? Made my table a little bit smaller. It filtered out those other things. And now, let's say I need to just look at a couple of particular items that we sell. Let's uncheck all of those and let's just select our LEDs and see that's so what did that take me one two three clicks and I was able to go ahead and take that 4680 cells worth of data and compress it down filter it down to what have we got here we got five by three 15 cells of data and it also summarized that data for me i have my grand totals of each of these pretty cool let's do a little bit more let's go ahead and let's turn these filters off we're going to clear the filters 
And now I'm going to show you something. And that is our pivot table field list over here. This is really where the pivot table kind of gets its power. This is where we go ahead and decide how we're going to display this data. And that's really the key of the pivot table. It's taking this data and knowing how you want to analyze it. What information do I need to pull out of this data? And how can I get this pivot table to do it for me? I can move these things around and that's why it's called a pivot table because I can pivot these fields of data around into different areas. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead now and take this apart. I just want to rearrange our table into a little bit of a different scenario so that we can get a little bit of a different view. of our data. All right, so now we kind of redid this. Now our report filter is by the store. So now I'm going to pick one store and let's say just the fourth quarter. And again, I can pick and choose the items I want. Let's, let's just pick a couple of uh, things randomly here. So now I can go ahead and do that by store. I can analyze and filter that out by store before we had it by quarter. I can also, and let's clear these filters, do things like swap these out. Let's put this here, this here, and this here. And now I can see my data. I've got it listed by quarter up here and stores. And as I scroll out here, you'll see that I have all of my products across my columns. And that may or may not be the most efficient way to lay it out. Again, it depends on the data that you're using and uh, what you need to see, how you need to work with it. Now we have another area here cost and I'm not going to get into how we can make that work to our benefit in this lesson. Like I said this is just a little bit of an overview so that you can go ahead and get a feel for how that pivot table works. Like I said we took all of this data 4680 cells worth of data and with the pivot table, we're able to compress it down into a much smaller table that we could, through the series of filters, filter out, filter down, drill down into our data to find exactly what it is that we need to know. And you'll notice, you may have seen them popping up, that as I put my mouse over some of these values, I get these little pop-ups that uh, tell me what they are. So that is a pivot table and what it does. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.